Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to take a look at installing jQuery UI. Now, if you haven't already gone ahead and clicked the Build Custom Download button that I mentioned in the previous tutorial, the introduction to the jQuery UI, go ahead and click Build Custom Download. Now, you'll be presented with a page where you can actually customize the package that you download. And this will be provided to you uh, in a zip file. Now let's go ahead and just select everything for now so we have access to absolutely all the uh, effects and uh, interactions etc uh, that uh, jQuery UI provides and we're going to be downloading the latest version which is compatible with jQuery 1.3.2 um, uh, onwards. So let's go ahead and click download. Now that file will be downloaded as a zip file as I mentioned it's about one megabyte so we're going to go ahead and wait for that to download okay so once it's downloaded let's take a look at the files that we re receive with the package now we've got um, inside a JS folder we have our, a, a actual jQuery um, a download uh, you know the original uh, jQuery library and we also have the jQuery UI uh, package as well now this is the one file that we want to um, put in our directory so we can use it so I have placed this inside uh, my JS folder. Uh, let's go back to the um, root directory. So this is inside the JS folder and I've called it jQuery-UI.js. So that's in there. I've also copied this development bundle. Um, let's go back up. This development bundle folder, uh, which contains a lot here, uh, over to my di root directory as well. And inside CSS, I've uh, copied UI lightness folder uh, over as well. So let's take a look at that. Inside CSS we've got this UI lightness folder as well. So we've got these files copied over. Uh, now what we can do is actually go ahead and uh, actually run this. So now that we have it downloaded and uh, and uh, you know we have copied the files over we want to go ahead and include the jQuery UI file. Now this is the only file we're going to need to include uh, at least for now anyway so we do exactly the same thing as we did with jQuery however we include jQuery UI .js. remember this is located in the JS folder okay so now that we've done that uh, jQuery UI is uh, ready to use and we can actually start to use it so what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, just test this out and we want to test it uh, by well I've created ui.js which is also located in the JS folder so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just include this as well so the source of this will be js forward slash ui.js this is a file that I've created myself it's nothing to do with jQuery UI uh, and we're going to start writing some code in here in just a moment to test it now for the example, uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to create uh, some span tags and I'm going to give this span an ID of uh, drag and inside here I'm just going to write drag me. Now let's go over to our browser and let's refresh the page and you can see that we've got this drag me text here. Now obviously we can't drag this at the moment because we haven't applied uh, anything to it. But essentially what we're going to be doing is quickly implementing the draggable um, interaction to this span element. So we'll be able to drag this around the page. So let's go ahead into context or whichever text editor you're using and let's apply this in UI.js which we've included and remember as well as the jQuery UI file. So I'm going to uh, just say document dot ready so this is when the document has loaded and is ready and inside this create a function as we've seen before and inside here I'm going to just select use a selector to select this drag uh, span here so hash and drag because I provided an ID and I'm just going to say dot draggable so this now has applied a particular CSS set to this um, element this span element and this will allow this element to now be draggable so if we refresh the page you can see that we can now drag it around the page 
So as well as uh, being extremely effective, it's also extremely easy to implement. All we've really done is downloaded some files or downloaded this file along with the rest of the package. And we've then used the draggable function, which uh, creates the, well, it's a, an interaction in jQuery URI, uh, UI, sorry. And we've applied this to the drag element. Now this can obviously be applied to uh, a variety of different elements. However, in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at this draggable interaction in a lot more detail. So as long as you have uh, this working and you're actually able to drag this element around the page, you'll know that jQuery UI has been successfully installed and we can continue with the rest of the tutorials.